this is the handout you should be looking for. What's this? Simple, practical machine applications. And then turn until you see isosceles triangle applications. So an isosceles triangle has two sides that are equal, two angles that are equal. Two sides that are equal are what's called legs. The two angles that are equal are what's called the base angles. So here and here are the legs. The side that is not equal. is called the base. So the two angles that touch the base are your base angles. And that leaves you one angle at the top. And we call that the vertex angle. One last time, an isosceles triangle has two equal sides, two equal angles. Those sides are called legs, two equal angles are called the base angles, and the third angle is called the vertex angle. You have to understand those terms for the geometric principle. So highlight this in your packet. In an isosceles triangle, an altitude to the base bisects the base and the vertex angle. But really, what it's telling you in plain English. Draw a line from the vertex angle to the base. Do that, it cuts the isosceles triangle in half and gives you two equal right angle triangles. Vertex angle down to the base. That cuts it in half and creates two right angle triangles, both exactly the same. But once you've worked one out, you've got the answer for the other side too. So, in your math book, <coughs> you turn to page 